Hey everybody, welcome back to It's a Golden Lifestyle. I'm so glad you're here. As per usual, I don't have no hair. <laughs> been a minute since I've been back but I'm here <laughs> and today I'm gonna be doing a look with some new products that I got from Target from the lip bar just gonna like shoot in here like I haven't been gone for mm, five months um, if you know my story then you know my story and if you don't know my story I have some videos that explain my story like why I've been gone um, but I'm back now so that's all that matters and I'm gonna be using products from the lip bar that I got from Target because um, I did a look with them yesterday and I got a lot of um, I got a lot of people asking me like what do you have on how did you achieve this flawless skin like your skin looks great yada 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 so I decided to do a video on how I achieved that look but put a little spin on it because I'm going to another event and I don't want to wear the exact same look because your girl needs Instagram pictures and I gotta I gotta break it up so um, I'm just gonna go into it but what's gonna be fun about this is that I am actually going to be um, watching love is blind it's the funniest show ever on Netflix and it's not even a comedy um, I'm on episode 9 so if you haven't watched any of the previous episodes you know you might want to watch this video on mute but if you have you're not gonna hear anything that you haven't already heard so yeah I'm just going to get right into it come on here can you work with me today can you work with me today it's not bad yeah you talked about Priyanka and I love you guys Jonas. I love you guys there you, you go know. and I can Priyanka you were like I love it and it was before that's right you were like oh I, I did it. say that you didn't did. I because I was like They didn't even flinch. They didn't even blink. Like, okay, cool. So that's a fad and it's really hot right now. Like, oh, okay. So y'all are on board. I never would have been open to it until I knew this person who is the most beautiful soul ever and feels like he completes my life, you know. Oh. And you guys having really good sex. walk away from things she needs a rock she needs a crutch and i can be that for her. i am that for her. a crutch can you promise me we'll do like stuff like this for the rest of our lives i i will put every effort into keeping our life an adventure being able to go on adventures with you you make it fun i never in a million years would have thought that my life would be like this that i would be so in love with the perfect guy and i can't believe it i still can't believe this is my life how excited are you for our wedding i'm excited i'm a different person surprise him. yeah you changed me made me into a better man. See, you're saying it sarcastically. But I'm, but I'm being serious, yeah. I know. It's sarcastic, but it's serious, but it's, yeah. I'm making less of it, I think. But it is a big deal. And it makes me happy, like, that you love me for things that I consider, like, flaws in myself. Like what? Um, Thanks for all of this. This is absolutely yeah. fabulous. You know, like everything that's happened uh, from start to finish, and you know, I consider this kind of the when we're approaching the finish line, you know, of our engagement, because we, we know we have something that's good. No, no. I don't have control over you know how Kelly feels or how she handles situations. Uh, I wish that I did because my confidence is we're getting married, and it's a hundred percent what needs to happen. It's how you feel. I'm happy scary at first but it was a huge leap <laughs> <laughs> you know yeah that's, it was huge it was a huge leap yeah. what's your favorite thing 
not gonna lie, when I first saw you, I saw your eyes. The one thing I'll never forget. My heart was in my stomach. I looked at you and I thought, you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I still remember every single second of that moment. She chose you second. Stupid. I felt the same way from start to finish. Just because the person that I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. Are you scared of commitment? Uh, yeah. Stupid. Um. I thought it would be a good idea to go on one last romantic getaway. I'm excited about this. Lauren knows I love the outdoors. She's a city girl. Wanted to meet somewhere in the middle, so Lauren and I are gonna have this really romantic dinner in this beautiful treehouse. And we're gonna spend the night there. This is super cute. I mean, it's like a treehouse. Yeah. This is very Cameron y. You think so? Yes. I tried to make it a little Lauren y, too. <laughs> <laughs> I know that I love this man, but I'm so used to being independent. It's like being in a marriage kind of changes everything. Will I lose bits and pieces of me that were there once? Will, um, you know, relationships with my family change? Like, man, what will be left behind in this new phase of my life? It's just, it scares me. So I'm still feeling... Fear free. What about the wedding? Mm -hmm. um, no doubts, no nervousness, nothing. I mean, what we get. I have no doubts about wanting to marry you. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling right now? Um, right now, I mean, I feel, I feel, um, You know I love you. There's no question about that. I know you do. I know. Definitely leaning towards yes right now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? You, didn't well, do it. you said definitely leaning towards yes. But I mean, I don't know. I, I, I understand. It's... So this is our final night together. It's emotional. Because um, this will be the last time I get to hold her and cuddle with her and kiss her before the wedding. I just can't believe it's going to be our last night together. I can't believe it's truly our last night. I believe it's the first night of any more time. Just the last night together before the wedding. I know that no matter what happens, we're gonna make the best of the night. We're gonna we're gonna enjoy it every second with each other. We probably won't sleep all night because we don't we don't want to lose a second with each other. So it's it's a lot on both of us. But I know how much G means to me and how much I love her. And I know she cares, but sometimes she doesn't show it as much. And I need to be hundred percent confident. Having an experience of a lifetime. You know, it's it's just tough to not know how she feels at this point. I guess I thought she was gonna know, but you know that I'm ready to marry you, Mark. 
already. You know, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I know that. Cameron, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. It's overwhelming when you feel that strongly about someone. You know, I, I would never want to lose her. I just really want to be your husband. I want you to be my wife. I know. Right. I finally made it to like the day before my wedding. I'm trying not to think too hard about this is gonna be my last night because then I'll get you self sabotage as you always say. Motherfucker, listen to me. Like, is there something that you want to get out? You make me an option, not a priority. And that's what it comes off as. We keep things the way they've been going, and you will lose me. You know how you tell me this is the best sex of your life? Have you noticed I don't say it's the best sex of my life, too? We're giving this process to find the love of my life. Marriage is two people coming together as one. You can say you're ready to make a really big decision on your life. And you're not really ready. Like, no one's ever really ready. <laughs> so am I ready to marry Damien? If it happens today, then I'm ready. It seems like you want to be the best version of yourself. So I mean, I, I did I, show him, like, my, like, my bitchy side, like, hardcore. I don't think you could hide that. So, and he, I, it seems like he loves you anyway. Right. I know that I pushed Damien. Oh, <laughs> Qualities that would make Jeannie not a good wife. She loves kids. She wants a family. She's hardworking. She's dedicated. She's committed to always wanting more in her life. Um, if now you will hold these, time comes uh, to hold mine and she's rings at the altar. Every morning I wake up next to Jaden, I, I still get butterflies. I fall in love with him again every single day. Oh. I love Damien. I love him so much. He does things every single day that make me feel loved. And the fact that he truly gets me, that makes me feel like sunshine. Do I think he will be the best husband and father and, like, soulmate ever? Yes. Of course. <laughs> but, um, is he going to be able to handle me? Good and bad. So this is a gift from G. To me. It's all positive side. Yeah. You know what I mean? beginning was rough. I see Damien standing there. He looks so hot and dapper. Who gives this woman to this man? I do. We are gathered here to celebrate and delight in the marriage between Giannina and Damien. Giannina and Damien, will you get married and commit to face life together as husband and wife or walk away from each other forever? You fell in love with who each of you are on the inside and you decided to get married before ever seeing one another. Now is the time to decide if love is blind. Giannina, 
Lady Jabelli. Do you take Mark Damien Powers to be your lawful wedded husband to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Of course I do. And from this day on, I promise to give you the gift of being your rock when you least want it because it's when you need it the most. Damien Powers, do you take Giannina Milady Jabelli to be your lawful wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her so long as you both shall live? Love is blind? He told her no. Julia. After she just professed her love. Please say it's fake. Okay. I do love you. Okay. Since day one, mm -hmm. I have wanted this. I've wanted to marry you. I've I've stayed consistent all In the way through. In front of her parents, okay. her friends. And please be fake. Okay. You have not. What? I can't handle the ups and downs of you loving me one day and saying you want to be friends the next. It would be selfish of me to marry you today, knowing as much Babe, as you tell me you're ready. That's I see that it all. Hey, I'm mad we gotta go. <laughs> I cannot. Virginia. Who dare you? Get out of my face. I can't. Okay, I gotta, I gotta stop it because I will sit here and watch the rest of this episode. 